There are so many stories online regarding the origin of the buffalo wings. Nobody knows its true history. I guess academics are spending their time and funding on researching world wars and stuff, ignoring what actually matters. Today we'll learn a classic buffalo wing recipe from that Epicurious episode, and then we're gonna take a trip to Kent, I mean upstate New York, to get a taste of the original sauce. By the way, P.A. is coming with us too. In case you forgot, he's one of the many supporting characters on this channel, so let's get started. Let me know if you're proud of me today, because I actually went out and got some normal looking chicken. I rarely ever buy chicken wings to cook with, because that's my go-to takeout food, so it feels a little bit wrong to cook it myself. I buy chicken breast the most often, and then thighs occasionally, which is a preference that's prominent in other aspects of my life, too. Right now, we're just separating the drumette from the flat. I guess the drumette is easier to eat, because you can hold it with one hand, but the flat is more tender. There are two bones inside the flat, so you need a very skilled tongue to get that meat in between out, which is not a problem for me. I'm also gonna cut out and throw away all the tips, because if they start touching, you guys are gonna be really immature in the comments. We'll lay all the wings on top of a wired sheet tray, pat them all down with a paper towel. And you see this piece over here? That is the bicep along with the armpit. And to give it the best flavor, you gotta give it a sniff first and put on some deodorant. And then we'll let them air dry in the fridge for 12 hours. I'm not making this stuff up. I'm following this guy's exact instructions from this video. I'll put it in the description too. So apparently drying it in the fridge will make it not only more crispy, but also a little more tender. It seems like the chicken fat gotten a little more yellow than before. We'll give it a final pat down and get ready to deep fry. As you guys know, I'm still getting over the fear of hot oil, so I will be using this construction face shield. I will not accept any judgment in the comment section. Since I want to fry everything all at once, I'm going to pour a decent amount in this pot. We'll get it up to 375, and while it's heating, we'll make the sauce real quick. First, we'll start with a quarter cup of butter and a half a cup of the original Anchor Bar wing sauce. I'm using mild. Anchor Bar claims to be the creator of buffalo wings, so we'll be visiting it after cooking. So that will also add some freshly grated garlic and salt pepper to taste, which I'm just gonna skip. And the secret ingredient to this buffalo sauce is a dash of ketchup. You know what's the secret ingredient to my buffalo sauce? No, we're not gonna do it anymore. It's getting a little annoying. I apologize. You know what's not getting annoying? Once it's mixed thoroughly and heated through, the sauce is done. At this point, the oil should be at 375 and we can start dropping in the wings. As you can tell, I'm wearing my face shield, but you can still see my beautiful smile. It sounds interesting, so I'm going to drop multiple in with the strainer and then protect myself with the screen. This kind of resembles my older sister's blood when I critique her outfit or boyfriend. Maybe I should have let the wings dry out a little more. I think the moisture is acting up. The intense bubbling has slowed down a new problem arises. I think the oil is spilling out. But that's it, I'm done with deep frying today. For the rest of the wings, I'm just gonna bake it. And then in the end, we can do like a baked versus fried buffalo wing taste test. Now back to the oil. All the wings are floating up. That's a good sign. But for some reason on the bottom, there's like a thin layer of sticky brown scum. Did they poo? Anyways, time to take all the wings out and hit it with some salt and pepper. They kind of look a little bit apocalyptic. This part is pretty exciting for me because I don't really get to toss anything else these days. So the wings are done. Let's prepare the sides and the blue cheese dip. Starting with some creme fraiche. Don't ask me why there's hot sauce in it. Crumble up some blue cheese. Why is it green? Then it out with some buttermilk, which I don't have, so we use milk, which I don't have either. I'm too lazy to open this heavy cream, so I'll just add some coconut milk. Mash it down with the fork till it's sort of smooth. I always peel my celery to make the misery a little more bearable. So after we arrange the vegetables that don't matter, it's time to lay down our wings. Look at this plate. It kind of reminds me of a low point in life where I got stuck in the diner in New Jersey for two hours. So let's take a drumette, dip in the blue cheese, give it a taste, and rate it 113. I think I overcooked it a little. 
The edges are drying up, but it's still crispy and the overall flavor is good. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I forgot that I still got stuff in the oven, so a lot more pale than the fried one. So after following the normal tossing procedure and tasting it, I realized the baked ones is a lot more tender. But without the crispy edges, everything just feels slimy. The moist skin combined with the buttery sauce makes my tongue feel a little bit violated. So I think we learned an important lesson today. In case you didn't know, fried chicken tastes better than baked chicken. We're going to the promised land of wings buffalo new york and pa is gonna tag along too just to give you some context we're both staying at our friend's place and this friend without consulting us made an interesting financial decision for himself all right let's go tiger Mom. let's go check out your midlife crisis fancy schmancy car look at this <laughs> he got it uh, 20 years too early yeah he, he thinks he's regina george from uh, mean girls you know that scene in Friends where Ross rolls up yeah, like, yeah. to the car and there's an old man sitting next to him? This car, man. What are you going through? Hmm? <sighs> Have uh, you tested if the if it actually converts into convertible? What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. Say goodbye. Stay. Stay. No, my favorite song by her is Shake It Off. The leader of the fan club. Yeah. Oh lord. <laughs> Look at that. Is this downtown Buffalo? Looks looks kind of depressing. Oh, that's Anchor Bar? Oh wow. So close. Alright. These people think we're insane. We are. Home of the original Buffalo Wings. Bro, every single restaurant claims they have the original Buffalo. That's the lady. Okay. Wow, something's getting wow, that's, spicy. That's kinda, yeah. Oh, this is a cool place, man. Look at all these trophies. Time travel back to the 1960s. Right, come right back this way. Can't Thank tell you. which one's hotter. Look at this big cock. So apparently, for people like you, in the 1960s, Dominic Bellissimo, Bellissimo. Doesn't that mean like beautiful or I handsome? Think it, I think, I think it's, Who named themselves handsome? You can just like disappoint people that imagine it drops and when people see you and like that's not Bellissimo. My last name should be mediocre or off-putting. You, you should, should be, be off-putting. Off oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I got that again. You know, because you're bad, uh, you should be off-putting. I appreciate you spelling it out. <laughs> we need a mic for him. We're going with the extreme heat, right? No, no, no. no. Let's, let's get one. So, let, uh, so I can try. Wait, so what are the, what are the quantities? Where's the suicidal? What is the, uh, they they changed it. to extreme. Oh, they used to be suicidal? Yeah. yeah I, I guess they really did their uh, sensitivity training. We have to get a bucket. Because it's 69. Oh, Lord. That's what it used to look like, right? Guys, we're out of lime, so I bring a little bit of Oh, thank you. It's okay. I don't taste the difference. Thank you. Can you also get extra celery? Cheers to the new car. The stupid ass car. Yeah. You mean the Greek car? The stupid ass battle problems. When somebody asks you where you're from, do you say New York? No. Okay. I think where you're from should be wherever you went through puberty. So that's the extreme and that's mild, right? Yeah. I've never had fried pickle before. Isn't good. I, I can believe how good that is. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm a raw dog at first. His dry rub keeps it really crispy. All right, let's move on to the mild. The color is a lot. Blue cheese. Blue hot. This is the best so far. This is the suicidal. Extreme heat. All right, extreme heat. I'm a little cold right now, so I kind of need it. Good one, buddy. <laughs> My forehead starts sweating. It's almost like the warmest. So do you think Anchor Bar is the best? Can't finish those. Look how much tissue I'm using. Reminds me when I make stuff on the couch. What do you What do you want from McDonald's? It's cheeseburger, I told you. Mr. Cheeseburger. Oh, oh no, cheese cheesy burger. Yeah. That's that's PA's uh, nickname in high school, uh, called by only his girlfriend. You know, actually, when I was in um, elementary school, uh, I used to be called Donut. 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 You are a donut. <laughs> I never had any nicknames either. What do you mean? You had anything? What? When you weren't there, we all called you an idiot. Oh, great. <laughs> I knew that. Yeah, yeah they, they need some background music here. 100%. My biggest fear 
is to be hanging out in public with PA, and、uh, I die in, in the streets. And then he arranged my dead body and put my thumb in my mouth, so I die in an embarrassing position. And everybody will walk, be walking by and like look at me. I think we did pretty well. In terms of eating, we, bro. Yeah, we ate twenty-seven wings. What an accomplishment, bro! Good job. <laughs> You're sustaining life, man. <laughs> We're killing it. <laughs> What the hell are you talking about? We accomplished our mission. Let's go get some ice cream. We'll go to Niagara Falls, and then we'll go home. It looks really good. Of course, it's the best ice cream ever. Can I have a taste? No. You can have a taste of my fist in your mouth. Anyway. Bro, chill. Are you recording? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I think you forget sometimes. <laughs> I don't yeah, we, we got, we gotta, we gotta、oh. filter ourselves. Yeah,、okay, I do have Michael. I just realized. Yeah. We gotta. Oh, Tim Hortons. Oh, you're recording. Of course, you can have my ice cream, man. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me get a lick. No, 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 no. My <laughs> sweet, sweet treat. <sighs> kind of beautiful. Parking free. Nice. Oh my God. I don't think I've ever been this cold, bro. <laughs>、oh, makes me feel like I'm back home in my Icelandic countries. I thought large bodies of water supposed to moderate the surrounding temperature, just to preserve thermal energy. Well, shut up, bro. I never want to live in Canada. All right, let me take a scenic shot here. Oh, a scenic shot. Look at it! I have no control. Bro, this is black ice. <laughs> What the fuck, dude? I got some cheap twenty dollar shoes on, man. Are you not cold, bro? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm almost done. We gotta do it for content, man. Oh, what is this? Okay, great. We got it. It's totally not worth it. Let's go.、Um, it's pretty beautiful. So cold. The Canadian side looks a lot nicer. We're so mad though. That, that was suffering. <laughs> Bro, I escaped my country, so I don't have to experience it again. I don't want to go to casino, man. I don't need to make any other poor decisions in life. I've made enough. <laughs>